In this tutorial, we'll learn how to insert reference into the documentation. The first thing we'll look at is reference. Once you click on the reference, you can see that there, there's this small dialog box that appears. The first thing you can see is, in the left-hand side is the fields. There are different ways in which you can insert a reference into your documentation. The first is you can choose either document, then you can choose the type where you can insert the author, the chapter, the date, the file. You can choose either of it, then you can select the names. And once you've selected that, you can click on insert and it will be inserted into your documentation. Or you can choose reference, you can choose whether you want to set a reference or insert a reference or even bookmark it and then you can give a name for it. Once you've given a name, just click on insert and the function will work. And there's also functions in which you can put the types of function like conditional tags or input list or input field, combine characters, you can choose them, you can put conditions for them. If you've done a database for your documentation, then we have DEO information in which you can put commands and create it, put infos, keywords, modified versions. If you choose either of them, just click on insert and it will be inserted into your documentation. You can put variables and you can shoot show different types or you can put different types of variables into the documentation for instance set variable or show variable set page variable and if you have a database you can choose the, the record you can choose the database name the mail merge fields you can choose the new database or write a db you can put conditions for it you can even put record number you can even add a database file by clicking on browse once you click on browse, you can you can find for the location in which you have stored your database. And then once you click on that, you can just click on open and open up. So if you've chosen any of these fields to reference, all you have to do is choose the type of reference that you want to do and click on insert and automatically insert into your documentation. The next thing we will look at is reference by using a footnote. All you have to do is Choose the type of footnote that you want to insert, either footnote or endnote. You can choose between automatic or character. And if you choose character, you can choose the type of character. And if you click on automatic, just click on automatic and you click on OK. You can see that the bottom here will be a footnote where you can actually write which places or which paragraphs in your documentation that you have kept a footnote and what does it paragraphs mean. That is the use of a footnote. On the other hand, if you choose an endnote, just click on an endnote and click on OK. You can see that there's a new endnote here. And if you click on that, it'll show you that it'll show you the place in which the endnote is, and you can find the paragraph of your endnote. The next thing we will look at it insert is you can insert pictures, and there's two options in which you can insert your pictures. First is either from a file or from a scan to where in scan to you can select the sources of the picture or you can request for the picture if you're going to choose it from a file just click from file once you click from file you can see that um, you get a box like this in which it will require you to choose the location in which you have saved the picture and just say you choose the location you choose the picture that you want to insert click on open and you can see that the picture has been inserted into your documentation the next thing you can insert into your documentation is a text box. Just click on a text box and you can see that you just have to draw a text box and double click on it. Once you double click on your text box, you will get this property of the text box in which once you click on general, you can see you can give a name for your text box. You can label the field. You can put a maximum text length. You can enable it. You can or you can choose whether you want read only or not. You can choose whether you are you allow the text box to be printed, whether it can tap stop or tap ordered. You can choose the default text, the font. You can choose the alignment whether you want it center, left or right. You can choose to put a background color for it. If you want to put a border 3D look or without frame or flat, you can choose the multi-line text type. You can even choose the text lines and width, which type of text lines 
that you want it to end with. You can choose whether you want to have a scroll bar. You can choose the types of scroll bar. You can choose the height selections, whether you want it to be hidden or not. You can put additional information. You can put help text or you can put help URL into this general text box properties or you can go to data, the types of data field that you want to enter into this text box. If you choose an event, you can choose change. Click on this, you can choose the events that you want to assign to this text box. You can put key pressed or mouse moved and you just click on OK. It'll be assigned to it or text modified when receiving focus. You can choose any types of events that you want to put for this properties and once you've done just click on close so once you've done the changes into your text box properties it will be inside your documentation next thing we will look at is file click on file and you can see that you can insert whatever you want to insert through inside this documentation it could be a picture or it could be a particular document or or, or a graph or a bar chart you can choose the location in which you have saved it and then click on the particular picture or a particular document and click on insert and you insert into your documentation in this particular tutorial you learn how to reference your documentation the type of reference you can do the footnote you can put in the types of footnote the end note how you can insert pictures into your documentation through these two methods you can put a text box how you change the text box properties and choose a file in which you can use to insert a picture or a documentation that you have saved previously